Hello, this is Trisha from Sandy and Auto, and I have a continuation of the estate sale that I stumbled upon one day. And uh, I will say, a lot of these items I haven't seen, so I'm going to be just as surprised as you are. Kind of bought these boxes with just looking through a few of the items in it and decided to take the whole box. Um, so it's going to be a lot of fun to go through these. Now, as I do go through them, um, most of these items will be available for sale right now. As you're watching the video, you can comment below or you can send me an email. There's one item in particular, which is a little set of items that I know I'm going to hold over to the uh, live sale because it's kind of really cool. Um, but um, uh, as I go through these, um, again, you, they're available for sale now, but... Um, I will be incorporating these into my live sales. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, so my live sales are every Wednesday afternoon at 4 p.m. Eastern time and Saturday night at 10 p.m. Eastern. So watch for these items to start being incorporated into those live sales. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and click that notification bell so you'll be notified when I go live for my sales and when I put out new content like this. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Okay, so I'm going to start with this box down here. And what I did is I looked in it and I saw um, it's a bunch of clothing um, with some great fabrics. And again, people love, um, you know, kind of more vintage. I think this gal made most of these clothes. Um, so they're really cool. Um, so just on that end, yeah, they're really interesting because she made these and she was really good, I will say. Um, there's a zipper in the back of this top. It is a sleeveless top. Here are the sleeves. I don't know what size any of these outfits are, um, but this looks like a top of some kind or maybe even like a little mini dress. Um, but again, People are so good at upcycling also that if you didn't want to use this and just wanted the fabric for some other project, it would be great for that also. Okay, and we've got, this looks like another top with a belt. Maybe it's a dress. Looks like we've got a little stain. Where did that go? Right there. That would probably come out with some OxyClean. And again, this is a handmade item with that cute little belt that wraps around. Okay, this is a this is a purchased item. It's Lexus. This is a more vintage item with that tag. And oh, this is a fabulous. I'm trying to see if that's navy. Might be navy. Navy and white check button up blouse. It does say it's a size medium, I think. Oh my goodness. It's a little faded. Nope, oh, I think it says petite is the size on that one. Petite what? I'm not sure, but okay. Oh, love this fabric. Look at that. This looks like another um, handmade sleeveless top. Look at this one. Woo! Oh my goodness. Bring back the 70s. Um, this is a like a um, fold over turtleneck. It's got a zipper in the back. It still has its tag. Oh, this is a Lexus also. And I think that one says a size small. Oh my. There is just a pair of pants. These look handmade. Handmade stretchy pants. Feels like a polyester type material. This one. I'm not sure if that's handmade or not. Oh, look at that fabric. So good. 
Let's see, this is a silky top. Maybe this is a pajama top. Looks like little, little towns or something. Little castle in there. This is handmade also. Nice top. This one again, oh, love that fabric. Little heart buttons. And this, I'm gonna say this one is handmade. Oh, this one has some stains, but oh, love that style. Very vintage style. And this is handmade with a zipper in the back, but again, some OxyClean. I think we'll take out those stains, but oh, that's such a classic style top. Mm. Orange pants. Yep, handmade. Looks like these may still have been in the process of being made. And we've got some yellow. This is also handmade, real similar style because it's got the little ties on it. So a sleeveless top with ties. There we go, there's some pants. These do have an elastic waist, they are handmade. Oh, look at that fabric, so good. And a bell bottom, yep. These have got an actual bell bottom on them. Oh, these do too, but there is a little bit of like maybe paint or something on there, but I think that would come off. It looks like this one's already like kind of coming off. These are bell bottoms also. Look at those bell bottoms and that check. Oh my gosh. These are handmade and elastic waist. Some classic black. These ones look like they weren't quite finished. Nice black polyester. And oh, we've got a top to go with those bell bottoms. Oh my goodness. Look at that top. This again is that sleeveless style with the belt. Oh, what an outfit that was. Okay, oh, gingham, oh, love this gingham with the rickrack, oh my goodness. This one is a store-bought, this is Lexus again, that must have been a favorite brand of hers. Size small, look at that cute top. And we've got elastic on the sleeves, oh. Um, this one, I'm trying to see, oh, we've got some um, gathering on the sides. Now one, yeah, I think we're missing one of the um, little straps on the side here. So this side has a little strap, this side doesn't. Oh, look at this fabric. This is a handmade, like a handmade little tunic. There is just a plain green, like a green polyester, that same sleeveless style with the straps. And does this match? I think this one matches those bell bottom pants. Oh, that sleeveless, yep, like a sleeveless tunic. Oh, so good. Okay. Then we've got some patterns in here. So I would imagine these are some of the tops that we were seeing there. That one. Let's see. 
if I, if I see dates on these, I will jump on them. Um, oh, this one is maternity. Maybe that's what some of those clothes, um, clothing styles were maybe a little, um, maternity. Um, uh, let's see, this is maternity also. I think some of the other patterns I found were also maternity. There we go. This one is also maternity. See, I've got two here. This one is maternity. And this one, oh my. And this one does not say, oh, it does say maternity. Okay, so it looks like she made a lot of her clothing. Um, for maternity. Here's maternity also. And yep, I recognize those pants, I think. <laughs> okay. That is everything in that one box. Oh, I love those fabrics and patterns. And again, um, oh, let me get those down here. Um, if you're not interested in wearing those items as is, that fabric being as vintage as it is, so cool to upcycle into something else. Um, okay, we've got a little ornament, like a little dachshund, I think. It says, ho, ho, hounds. So cute. Got an eagle. I've got two eagles here. This one is Audubon Birds, the bald eagle. And then this one is uh, Unipack Designs. Okay, but it's an eagle also. Okay, now we're going to get into one of the items I'm going to save for the live sales, which are these jadeite plates. Um, they do not glow. They're just regular jadeite, but oh my. So I've got, I think there are six in here that I'll end up finding as I unpack the rest of this box. So let's see, here's number two. There's number three. Four and oh, here we go. Okay, five. And six. Okay, then I've got some more linens. Some of these are vintage, some are not. Um and this one, I don't know. Oh, this one. Okay. I think I've got a pair here. So look at this, like an elk on here. And that's a single. This one, I think, is the pair. Yeah. Oops. Open it this way to get to there. Um, these are in pretty good condition. I don't see any staining or um, I don't see like marks from uh, being folded and kept in a drawer. So they do look to be in really good condition. Okay, then we've got just some nice kind of a mustard yellow, great for fall set of four napkins so far that I see. Let's see, this is just a plain pillowcase, maybe for an upcoming project. Um, let's see, a frame with some pink roses on it. Let's see, this, oh, we've got some flowers down here. There we go, some hand-stitched flowers. Again, great for fall. I'll see if there's a match to that one. Oh, here we go. Here's a match. So we've got a little pair of those. Um, Christmas towel. There's just a red towel. 
Um, one burgundy napkin so far. Oh, okay. We've got some stitching and a beautiful red rose on these napkins. Let's see. One, two, three. Oh, this is another little yellow. Let's see. So I think we're up to four of each of those so far. Oh. I grabbed this cute little glass. I think those are glass. Little grape cluster. And, oh my. Oh, so here's the tablecloth that those napkins go to. And we've got a little mark right there. Um, but, oh, this is pretty. So that's a nice big tablecloth. Looks like a rectangle shape. And some of the stitching may have come undone just a little bit. I'm seeing just a couple little, like, of the French knots that have come undone. Okay. Got a little, oh, a little Christmas photo book. There is a couple of Christmas towels. These are, I think, the larger size towel. Um, oh, I think the transfers are still in here. So here we go. Full color iron on design. It does look like something is still in here. Got a little, little Hallmark bag. Here's another um, blank pillowcase. And a bag. Oh, we've got napkin rings in here. Two, three, okay. We've got four of these wood ones with some flowers. We've got four of these wood ones. And, oh, these ones do have a mark here. Let's see if we can see. Made in India. I see two of these. Let's see. Can't quite tell where those are made in, but there are two of these. Have four of these. Not quite sure if those are plastic or if they're older. And then let's see, I think these ones are just the dough. <laughs> Handmade out of dough, I think those are. <laughs> and oh, I've got a tin with some stuff in it. Let's see, oh, we've got some more sewing goodies in here. And let's see, a couple of, one, two, three, four. I think these are just plain white towels, little hand towels. And I think this is just um, fabric, leftover fabric. There's like a burgundy and a purple, or maybe these were pillowcases in the making. Let's see. I think, yeah, I think these are pillowcases. There we go. And then we've got black also. Let's see. I think these are pillowcases. Some more white towels. 
And let's see. Oh, let's see what we have here. We've got a big flower sack. Um, oh, this one says bake on Saturday. Isn't that cute? But yeah, it's a very large one. And that's all that one says. Oh, that is so cute, though. Let's see what we have here. This is just like a piece of muslin fabric. And then we've got one more item. And it's for something. Um, is that, I'm gonna say ironing board cover. That's what I think that is. And it is in the um, that wonderful mushroom pattern. Let's see. I'm not seeing a tag on it, but yeah, I'm going to say ironing board cover. How about that? Okay, so that is everything in that um, box. So yeah, kind of fun things. Don't know quite what you're going to get when you just go, yep, I'll take the box, but I think that's pretty darn good. And again, if you see something you're interested in, please leave a comment below or send me an email. Otherwise, these items will start being incorporated into my live sales. And don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.